Uh, well, I had, of course, a lot of offers, especially from Germany. Um, but I came here to Santiago to, uh, to improve. And uh, this summer was a tough decision for me, but I sat down with my agents and I had a lot of phone calls with Moncho and we sat down. I also had the time to visit in the summer uh, Santiago. And uh, well, everything looked good here. Uh, I, I saw a lot of games and I saw, of course, the names of the players that have been here and improved a lot. So for me, I thought it was a great opportunity to get here and it's, it's a great place to improve because, because you could tell that the coaches are working very well with the young guys. So for me, uh, it was pretty clear at the end that I want to be here and improve my game here. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, different is that here everybody, everybody on the court is involved all the time. There's no time where you rest, uh, neither on defense nor on offense, because you, you always have to move, and especially in our offense, uh, the way we, we play, Moncho wants us to set the screens, and even as a big guy, you don't have a part where you, where you just stand around. You always have to move and set a screen, and, and uh, I think this is the difference. And, and here, like, like I said, you always have to be focused because it's quicker, the game. Yeah, of course. Uh, well, it was pretty bad that I had to sit out for one whole year. Uh, it's tough to watch the game. And the, there have been times where I didn't really want to watch the game no more because you only can sit out and can't help your team and it feels terrible. Um, but of course, I took the time. I had, I had the time to learn about the game. I could watch uh, different situations. Maybe you, you don't see when you're on the court. So uh, I, I was spectating the game like, like a coach probably and I could learn a lot like this and of course I took the time for uh, weightlifting and gaining some weight because uh, I have been even more skinny than now so I took the time. Well of course uh, I've been talking to the national coach already and it would be a great chance and a great honor for me to be able to play in the European Championship but uh, first of all I want to focus on the season and, and all the stuff that happens uh, this summer is, is for the future then. Well, I don't feel compared to him, but like many times people want to compare me to him. But I think uh, Dirk is in his own league. He's a, he's a tremendous basketball player. And what he has uh, accomplished is very special. And there's no way you want to compare me to him. And I just want to be Maxi Kleber and, and play my game. And I mean, it's a great honor, of course, for me, if people want to compare me to Dirk, but, but Dirk is a different league. So. Well, uh, I think the most important is that you that you don't get crazy because of this. I think you have to just focus on your on your on yourself and or, yeah, uh, believe in yourself and keep working hard because uh, at the end it's not important what they expect. It's expect it's important what I expect for myself and and that's why I work hard every day and. And so I, I don't listen too much to what they are saying. I want to accomplish my goals and I work hard for that. Uh, what's pretty funny, I, I've been to my neighbor, which is Rafa, who is Rafa. And uh, we had a little barbecue with uh, Pepe, Fran and one, one friend of Rafa. And it was a lot of fun. I mean, it's of course way different because I'm used to uh, celebrate Christmas with my family, but it was fine. We had fun. My New Year wishes? For myself, well, it's a good question because I didn't think about it so far. <laughs> Let's think about it now. Um, I think uh, as long as I'm healthy and I'm able to play basketball, which I love, uh, I'm, I'm very happy. So that's my wish. And I don't know. I don't. I didn't think about it yet. So, well, it's a good question. I mean. Uh, I met a lot of guys that are like very special players and for example in our own team like I never have met a shooter like Corby because he doesn't have the the regular shot everybody tells you yeah your feet have to face the basket and everything but no matter where Col Corby is he just shoots it and makes it and so uh, I was pretty surprised by Corby's shot that is that is very special and of course uh, Every time you play against uh, teams, there's one guy that's, that's, uh, who's really good at what he does and you can always learn. So there have been many people actually uh, that uh, love to, to play against. Like in Germany, I remember uh, John Bryant, 
I don't know if you know him, but he's a very tall guy and he's, he's, he has very soft hands and can shoot the ball, which is pretty good for a big man. So guys like these are very tough to defend because they can shoot from outside. They are very heavy, can post you up inside. So uh, there have been actually a lot of guys. There's not one specific guy that I would point out right now. Well, in basketball at all, of course, I want to be like the best I can be. And yeah, I, I want to see where it gets me because I really love the game and I just want to improve every day. And then I will see what happens. Of course, uh, like for every basketball player, probably the NBA is the, the big dream. And if I can make it, I'm very happy. If not, I, I try to be the best player I can. And right now I'm here playing in the best league in Europe and I'm very happy with the team here. So. I don't know where it gets me. I will. I will see. ¿Qué entiendes cuando piensas en el típico alemán? <laughs>